Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through how to tame the mantis, the uses of the mantis and how to breed them. And there's quite a little bit of snippets of information here that is necessary for you to go all the way through and not mess it up. So, the first thing you're going to need is a full ghillie suit. Not four out of five pieces, all five pieces to stop the mantis from being aggroed by you. The second thing you need to tame it is the deathworm horns. You can get the deathworm horns by randomly going into the desert and killing deathworms that approach you, or you can go into the ice cave on Ragnarok and go through and kill all the deathworms there, collecting the deathworm horns at each one. So, then the last thing you need to prepare yourself for is the bug repellent. Now, the bug repellent can be made in the mortar and pestle or the chem bench, and it requires some crops that you need crop plots for and some seeds. So depending on what level that you're at, you go mortar and pestle, you go over to consumables and then drugs and over to bug repellent. Then you've got citronal, narcotic, pelt and rocker root. Put those in there and press craft. And then if you go into the chem bench, it's going to be able to give you larger numbers of those, but you're going to get a better yield. Normally it will give you one and a half times what you would normally get out of the mortar and pestle. Okay, let's go over and tame some mantis. So I've just taken my bug repellent there. It's best to crouch behind the mantis that you want to tame. And when you get close enough, it will say feed deathworm horn to tame. Just approaching it now, so go a little bit slower when you get up close. It'll be a nice blue writing. There you go, feed deathworm horn to tame. It says wait until hungry again. So now I've aggroed it. As long as the mantis doesn't take damage, we should be fine. Right mantis, come on. Hopefully you're ready to eat now. Nope. Let's try again in a minute. Just a game of patience and obviously just make sure that your surroundings are safe. I mean, I'm winging it there, keeping that Giga in in range. Last thing I want is for that to come up behind me. Is it hungry? Is it hungry? Yes. And brilliant. There we go. We've tamed ourselves the mantis. And let's get away before the Giga comes and gets us. Right, so you've gone and tamed yourself a breeding pair of mantis, a high level male and a high level female, and then you want to breed them. So, obviously you need to go, need to be next to each other, you need to go to both of them and go enable mating, and that's in press and hold Y. Go to the behavior and then enable mating, and you see that on both of them, behavior, enable mating, and then they'll start mating. As you can see, they've got some red love hearts above them. They would generally have the pink love hearts above them if they're mate boosted, which means they're within range of each other. But these ones, as they're breeding, have the bright red love hearts because they're making love. So we just need to wait for that to be processed. It takes a few minutes, so I'll cut back when it's done. Right, so here we are, they're about to drop. And there's a lovely egg. So it's not like a normal egg. You can't pick it up as you can normally. It will literally hatch where it is. Um, I'm quite lucky at this point. Obviously we've got boosted rates here just to show everything going on. But it is incubating at this temperature. But I'll put the correct temperature up on the screen. It's a lot easier depending on where you are just to have a bunch of incubators. And I'll show you a cool setup later on if you're looking at that to have a multi-use incubation pad. But here we go. We're not very far away from it popping now, and then you'll see the little baby mantis ready to claim. And here we go. It does a little like explosion noise, sounds like a celebration. And then when you're feeding it, you want to feed it um, spoiled meat as a baby. Spoiled meat gives you 50 food points um, for the baby, whereas raw meat only gives you 20. You're going to be working two and a half times as hard if you're going to give it raw meat. Obviously I've got accelerated rates here on my single player, get rid of my RG a quick second. Yep, so as you can see it's growing up nicely, but trust me when I say this, use spoiled meat. 
spoiled meat gives you so much more food. Right, so let's go ahead and show you the ink pad design I've got for you. It's a multi-use ink pad, so fingers crossed it should help with everyone. So here we go, all the mantis are above the above the incubation station. You've got three on each side with the male mantis. Underneath you've got the incubator pads that show you real quick. The air conditioners are all linked up under there, as you can see. So generator obviously powering it, you don't need tech, you can use a normal generator, but you've got three females on each side, all on the ramps, and the male sat in the middle. And then you just need to turn the male on when you want to breed them. Once they're done, all the eggs will drop. So, let's give it a go, shall we? Come on now, let's get in real quick. Oh, got to turn them all on to breed them. Oh, I'm going to fast forward until that's done. Right, so we're back. They're almost about to pop. Let's have a look at these coming down. Boom, straight onto the incubation pad, ready to incubate in any location. Obviously they're going to pop pretty soon. We'll go ahead and claim them, 25 seconds. And unfortunately they will grow pretty quick as we've seen before. Um, but like I said, hand feed with spoiled meat, it gives you 50 food points versus the raw meat that gives you only 20 food points. It'll make it so much easier for you to raise. Right, here we go. We're about to pop. few triplets there, or oh, one triplet, one double, twins and some singles. Cool, so obviously like I said hand feed with spoiled meat, let's go and show you the uses now. Right guys, so I've equipped Pix to the Mantis, it's got two attacks, that's just the general right trigger, 75 damage points there, or you can have the leap attack, which is the left trigger, and look at that, 462 and 173. Let's just try that again. If you're dead on with it, yep, 462. The distance from that, let's let's test that out, see how far that actually is. So I put some foundations down to the side there. As you can see, it's quite a long way. And if you're going to count, it is actually 13 foundations. So that's 13 foundations away to get the perfect hit quite a distance but if you are shorter than that you're most probably going to either bounce off or go past your target okay so I'm adding this in for a little bit of fun got some clubs in the mantis and we're going to keep hitting for like two or three hits and we've knocked out a carno you can use this for either knocking out uh, tames to tame them or even go into some cave pvp and start knocking out your enemy and then kitten them I find that is going to be a lot of fun Thank you very much for watching guys, if you like what you see, click like, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like these. Thanks again, and see you soon.